Moscow earlier this week as the home of Konstantin Brinko, reported to be the head of one of the most powerful. Getting situated? Nice place. I kind of hope this operation lasts a while. I could get used to this. All right, what do we got? From the information Shahid gave us, it's not clear what the link is between Halbeck and al in Rome. But it does list the local al cell leader, a Jabril al-Bara. But... If there's a problem, just say it. I'm used to it by now. There's a CIA listening post here in Rome. And it's pretty well staffed. They're definitely running a search on you. Huh. And al it looks like. What's their chance of tracking us down? I don't know. You could try to stay below the radar. But that doesn't really seem to be your strong suit. Any chance of keeping an eye on them? Or bugging the system? Tapping into their network? It's possible. But you need to slip in there without being detected. So we'll have to be extra covert when carrying out this covert op. Which will make finding the al cell even harder. There may be another way to get information we need on al and Halbeck. It looks like there's an NSA Echelon listening post in Rome. You might be able to access that and use their database to do our hunting for us. It looks like... it's in a gelato shop. You've got to be kidding me. Stranger things have happened. So those are my options? Disarm the listening post, tap into the NSA computer, or make a straight run for Albara? What about Halbeck? What's their tie here? There's nothing about it in Shahid's records. So I did a check of Halbeck employees and ex-employees in Rome. One recent arrival came to the top that I think is worth looking into. Conrad Marburg. What do you have on him? Not much. He seems to avoid the spotlight. He's not showing up on many sites or search results. All right. So what's Marburg's tie to Halbeck? He doesn't have one. At least as of a year ago. He was actually chief of security, but then apparently transferred to working as a contractor for the Veteran Combat Initiative. They're mercenaries. Right. They're... Hmm. All right. You got a picture of Marburg? Sending it to your screen now. His dossier doesn't have much on him. And some of the early details seem... sketchy to me. Mike? What's wrong? Something tells me Marburg's our real problem. But let's figure out the al connection first. They're a little more knee-jerk than Halbeck. Do you think Shahid will help? I'm certain, especially if Halbeck's involved. I'll contact him, see what I can find out about Elbara. In. Seems pretty quiet. It is a listening post. The CIA's upstairs, and they probably have a guard in the lobby, so keep an eye out. Will do. Going to take a quick look around. Cable's cut. Huh? What do you mean, static? All right, we'll check downstairs. Probably blew another fuse. <laughs> what am I, the fucking electrician? Flashlight.
sneak past. Accessing the database and downloading the software. All right. Receiving. We're good. Listening in on the listening post. Gotta love this job. Control room's locked from the inside. No other entrances I can see. Looks like the only way to get it to open is to get them to open it. I'll think of something. Looks like an air conditioning duct. Too small to fit through, but I saw it do the trick. What are you doing? Mike, don't kill them. There's got to be another way. Just giving them a scare. A little something I learned in third period science. What the hell?
contacted a source within the VCI branch office doing a search for your profile. Although they've got the height wrong. Not taller in person. Sounds like Marburg needs to hire a brighter bunch. It looks like the analyst isn't doing it on company time. I have the workstation called up. It's using the workstation Parker used while he was undercover as a Halbeck contractor. What? The ID on the badge used to access the office is a Madison St. James. Hmm. Sounds like a porn star. I think I've seen some of her movies. These windows into your world really scare me sometimes. Then I'll leave the fact that I may have worked with her for another time. Got a picture? Calling it up now. Hmm. She's pretty. Recognize her? No, I think I'd remember. But if she's tied to Marburg, I think we've got a way to get to him after all. I think I just got salmonella by looking at this place. Gotta keep the public from dropping in for a cone. Good point. I'd say their cover is working beautifully. Okay. You'll need to come up with a good reason to be here. Hmm. Looks like they're scheduled for server maintenance and security upgrades this month. That might get you in. I think I can smooth talk my way past them. Don't play games, Mike. These guys are trained to spot double agents and imposters. If their post is compromised, they'll shut it down, and we'll lose our access. You'll also need to give the correct handshake code to identify yourself as an agent. Secret handshakes? What are we, the Shriners? It's a specific passphrase that rotates on a monthly basis. You give the correct phrase, they give the correct response, and you both know everything's on the level. So what's the code? Tell them that the Adirondacks are beautiful this time of year. They should respond with, yes, but the Alps are lovely all year long. Got it. Let's see if anybody's home. Hello? Anybody back there? I'd like to purchase some of your somewhat suspicious looking gelato. That... That is...
is at least seven health code violations right there. Can I help you? Or are you going to stand there and insult my shop all day? I'm here to fix the computers. We don't have a problem with the computer. Well, sure, not yet. But if you don't let me install the security update, oh man, you are not going to like what this season's hot new virus does. Two words, horse porn, all over your computer. Who did you say you work for? Wait, what are you doing? Give him the code. Relax, I know what I'm doing. Who are you talking to? No one. I hear the Adirondacks are beautiful this time of year. I don't like the mountains. And you're here to fix the computers? He didn't give the response phrase. Something's wrong. Uh, yeah. Say, about those Adirondacks. I told you I don't like mountains. Come on. I'll show you the computers. That's not the response phrase. Stay on guard, Mike. My code is out of date. They might suspect you're not on the level. Looks like he didn't buy the story. I'll see what I can pull off the computers and head back to the safe house. state where this meeting is supposed to take place. What now? Albar is our target. He's supposed to be here tonight. Well, I'm glad I brought this rifle. But what's the deal with the scope? It can transmit images to me in real time. Aim at someone, and I'll run their picture through the database. See if we get a match. The longer you focus on a target, the quicker I can make an ID. The ID is all I need. And if the target's a scumbag, I take him out? That's your call. If you decide to shoot, just make sure you don't do it if the target's inside of a camera or another person. We don't know who Alvar is meeting, so taking anyone else out may have repercussions, depending on who their friends are. Roman artist. Made a name for himself last year with a controversial exhibit in Paris. Some local juvenile offenses, but otherwise he's clean. Not our target. And nobody. a sports car dealership in Naples. Does a lot of international business, but no criminal record. Not our guy. Looks like the guards are clear. Moving up to the next position. In position. All right, let's begin. We can catch the news later. celebrity talk show host. He's a known meth user, but nothing related to financing terrorists or arms smuggling. Well, she's a little underdressed. Definitely a cold night from the looks of it. All right, Mike.
security guard. He's clean. Private security. Ex-special forces. Not our man. But definitely a professional. He planned and led the assault that took back the hijacked British jet last year. I remember reading about that. Should I get an autograph for him? No. I work for the infamous Mike Thornton. Compared to you, he's small time. Dutch Flower Baron. He's suspected of dipping into the drug trade. But that's all I've got. Nothing really incriminating. I'm in position overlooking the chateau. A lot of guests tonight. I see. Mike, be very... Careful, I know. I don't want a mob after me before we have a target. in town. His latest exhibit on the Crusades has drawn some fire, but otherwise he's clean. An American novelist. He's got a bestseller right now on corporate involvement in the Middle East. Is any good? I'm waiting for the movie. Albara, that's him. Take him out. Hold on. A lot of State Department and Interpol records. State Department says he's dirty. Interpol says his finances are legitimate, though. And... Mean, do I take him out? None of these State Department records are sourced. I can't tell where they came from, or when. Best I can tell, their intel was added to his sheet a few months before you left for Saudi Arabia. He's a member of al right? I don't know. I'd say yes. But, but I might be wrong. You can take him out or we can abort. It's up to you. the mission. All right, Mike. What's that beeping noise?
sign of Albara yet. Maybe he stood you up. I've never been stood up in my life. Someone has a high opinion of themselves. I'm just stating the facts. <clears throat> Sorry, that's switch off your transmitter. If you reach for your gun, one of my men will put a bullet in your skull. So let me guess. This was your table. Don't make me repeat myself. Ah. You've made an effort to broadcast your arrival in Rome. Why? Broadcast? I thought I was being more subtle than that. You were obviously trained by the U.S. government. You've left a trail all over Rome. Actually, you left the trail, or I wouldn't be here in the first place. And now we're having this conversation. I must be doing something right to have you come visit me in person. You aren't here in an official capacity. You are operating under Alpha Protocol. Interesting. Considering the program secret, I would have expected you to say traitor, unless you have insider knowledge. If you think you're the first to be abandoned by your government, you would be wrong. You are Michael Thornton. Many of the files of your former ops are buried. A field agent. I'm a spy, actually. But you can't expect me to put that in my file. So, is that it for introductions? You haven't even offered to buy me dinner yet. Reports place you as someone who prefers talk over action. You obviously read half the file. I like fighting, too. Besides, you're the one who's been doing most of the talking. Only because I need information. Provoke me further and I'll get it another way. You mean like raising your voice? You need to work on your approach. All you're doing is boring me. So you've done your homework. Congratulations. I know who you are, too. You're Leyland's right-hand man, his lackey, Toady, henchman. Chief of security, as of a year ago. Those gloves keep the dirt off? Ah, uh, yes. And the blood. When need be. Considering how public your actions have been in Rome, especially that debacle at the Echelon listening post, I think you're hardly in a place to lecture me. What happened to Albara? Dead, of course. Once you'd ID'd him, well... His use to me was at an end. In less than a day's time, you have already managed to cause me considerable inconvenience. Now, tell me what you're doing here. I was tracking down a lead, and it looks like I found it. I see. So you thought all you had to do was wait and we would speak. Interesting. What I don't understand, though, is why we're talking at all. Unless keeping me alive is important for some reason. I have orders, and I am a cautious person. So am I, and I think we have room to negotiate. No, I am not authorized to make deals. Besides, I believe you have nowhere to go for help. In that situation, it is a rare man who goes to his enemy's door. So, yes, this is a social call. A warning. You have proven yourself capable, but pursuing this course of action will not serve you any longer. Go underground, hide, but stay out of our way. Or else what? Or people you care about will start to die. We know you've been in contact with one of your fellow agents. That contact will die if you persist, and then we will kill you. Those are your terms. Allow you to carry out your mission, and I stay out of the way. Yes. You realize I would be betraying my country. Yes, and that does not change my terms. I understand your feelings, and I encourage you to set them aside. So we're done here. I leave Rome, leave you to your plan, and that's it. Yes. What you do next is up to you, but there are only two immediate choices. Leave, you live. Stay, you die. Why should I negotiate with you? How long will it be before they have a new chief of security? New secrets? You're just getting set up like I was. You are ignorant. Halbeck is not the same hierarchy as your organization. 
And the term loyalty is not used there lightly. Leave Rome. If we see each other again, it will be the last time. You weren't hard to find in Rome, you know. The reports of what happened in that gelato shop. Finding you was easy. What can I say? I was hungry. So I checked out restaurant reviews, chose one, and waited. I knew one of your goons would show. And that's when you and Mr. Marburg met up and had lunch. When we talked, he had a lot to say about Halbeck and some suggestions about my involvement with your corporation. Really? I can rarely get three words from the man. Well, feel free to have him threaten you whenever you get tired of listening to yourself. I'd be curious to hear more and your first impression of Mr. Marburg. What did you discuss? Oh, we laughed, we cried, we had a grand old time. That Marburg, he could do a killer impression of you. He mentioned you being something of a smart ass, not taking things seriously. But Mr. Marburg was not always the best judge of character. Nor does he instill much loyalty in employees. Speaking of which, this woman entered the picture not long after your meeting with Marburg. She was in our office in Rome. Madison, I believe. Yes. I always wondered, did you ever regret getting her into this? It wasn't my choice. <laughs> oh, my, my, my. In the end, it was. The VCI employee I mentioned before, Madison, I think she's going to act. She's calling the operator and asking for you by name. She can't be working for Marburg, unless this is a trap. Who is she calling? The city directory. And maybe the police next. If she does... Can you intercept the call? Redirect it? What? Why? Did you see her picture? No way am I missing out on that action. Nice. Okay, let me patch her through. Operator? Miss St. James? Uh, hello? Yes, is this the operator? Operative, actually. I'm sorry? Never mind. Miss St. James, you were trying to reach a Michael Thornton. You're talking to him. Oh, thank God. Mr. Thornton, please, you have to listen to me. I already am, but go ahead. I have reason to believe your life is in danger. I know it sounds crazy, but... You don't say. I don't want to discuss the details over the phone. This line may be tapped. She's a sharp one. But it's important I speak to you immediately. Is there some place we can meet? I have an apartment here in Rome. We could meet here if you'd like. It's a beautiful view. Uh, I'm not sure that's a good idea. If they're watching me, that might lead them to you. Well, if it makes you feel better, send me an address and I'll meet up with you. I know a restaurant in the area. We should be able to talk without being interrupted. Sounds nice. It's not far. Fifteen minutes? Looking forward to it.
Thank you for meeting me, Mr. Thornton. Mike, or Michael is fine. So what's this about someone trying to kill me? I work for the Veteran Combat Initiative, VCI. They're a global military contractor. My boss, Mr. Marburg, I think he's involved in something illegal. So I checked it out, and your name came up several times in our database. Well, I'm a popular guy. Maybe Marburg wanted to meet me. It was cross-linked to several contracts within the VCI. Termination contracts. Marburg must be jealous of my good looks. Uh, do you have the contracts? That'd be valuable evidence. Not on me, no. That would have been too much to hope for, I suppose. No worries, we'll figure this out. Mr. Thornton, I'm not sure what to do next. Go to the authorities? Is there someone I should notify, or...? Miss St. James, I shouldn't have accepted your call. It's possible Marburg is watching you, along with other employees. Then what do I do? I believe your boss is involved in illegal weapon trafficking, and I'm concerned with what he intends to do with those weapons, especially after that plane was struck down in the Middle East. What? Oh my god, I, I didn't realize. Look. All right, I know you're trying to help me, but... Okay. I know Marburg. I know he wants to kill me. What I don't know is why he's here in Rome. I... Madison, you've already put yourself in danger by even meeting with me. I can protect you, but I need to know what Marburg's here for. I need those files. Are they in the VCI branch office? I don't know what you're looking for, but the VCI office in Rome isn't Marburg's personal office. He does most of his work off-site, or when he travels. But he's here now, so where would he store the information while in Rome? He has a villa. I've been there several times. If the files exist, I'm guessing they'd be there. Along with Marburg. Yes. Give me the address. Can you get me in? What? Passcodes, details on the security system, anything would be helpful. I can give you the address, but that other information... Miss St. James, you've already gotten into more trouble than you know by speaking to me, and that's my fault. However, you know Marburg, and you know what you found makes you a liability. Yes. I can protect you. I have a location in Rome that Marburg doesn't know about, and you can stay there. But in return, I need whatever information you can provide to take him down. But... Let me do my job. If I can expose him, you're safe. And if he gets by me, trust me, no one else can protect you. All right, Mr. Thornton. I can get you the address to the villa and the names of the files you need to search for. Then that's all I need. Come with me. Anything on the news? More mob violence in Moscow earlier this week as the home of Konstantin Brinko, reported to be the head of one of the most powerful organized crime families in Moscow, was attacked by rival gang members. Who was found by authorities in the ballroom of his mansion, which he converted in 2007 to resemble a 19... Narcissist much? Thornton. My apologies for relieving you of your weapons, but after that incident at the Echelon Post, I'm sure you understand. I wouldn't want anyone walking into my home with a gun either. Of course. So, I have an aggressive schedule over the next few days. Let's get to the point. Tell me everything you've discovered about our Rome operation. Specifics, please. I know you're the former chief of security for Halbeck. That means you've most likely taken a job with the VCI to distance Halbeck from something you're planning in Rome. And considering it's the VCI, known mercenaries, it's bound to be something violent, with a lot of guns. I see. I did warn you not to persist in your investigation. 
people's lives are at stake, you can't expect me to turn away from it. I understand. I had hoped you would be willing to cooperate. But I haven't provided the right incentive. That was 10,000 volts. Beat Mr. Thornton until he can no longer stand. But leave him able to speak. Open fire! Damn it! I guess that's that. No, I just need my gear. Mina, do you read me? I'm here, Mike. Are you inside? Yeah, but they've got me locked in. Can you override the security systems? No, I can't patch through to security. I'm sorry, Mike. Would Madison know the codes? It depends who you want to help you out, Mike. I can patch Madison through, or I can stay on the line. Just say the word. Madison isn't trained for this. When push comes to shove, I'd rather you were backing me up, Mina. All right, Mike. Bust. Not the time,
nice, I guess. Remind you of anyone? Does it remind you of anyone? No. All my boyfriends were fully equipped. So what? Grenades, rifles, body armor? Honey.
Got a present for you. Uploading the information now. Receiving. Sure is a lot of security. And that's that. Anything Breaking on the news? news from Moscow this morning. Last night, the United States Embassy was the victim of a terrorist attack. According to... I'm at the ruins. And the bike? It's close by. It's a nice ride. Looks like the area is under renovation. Looks like Al Saman was right. One of their cells is operating here. Trying to take in all the sites I see. Gonna see how the renovations are going. Those look like Marburg's men. That can't be good. Any idea what they're up to? No, but I'm gonna find out.
Don't need these munitions finding their way into Rome. Better destroy them while I'm here. That's one. What is this place? If it's beneath the bath, it's probably where they kept the fires. To heat up the bath water. So, you majored in architecture. No. Ancient Rome, your signal is breaking up a little, Mike. Must be the ghosts down here. Are you in the catacombs? Yeah, but not for much longer. Don't want to pick up any curses. Doesn't end up like this if Halbeck fucks it up. You and me both. <laughs> Transmissions to this station, but I'll need some time to trace the signal's origin. So I just stand here and wait. Now you know how I feel. Just make sure nothing interferes with the station until I finish the trace. Then. Then? What then? We've got trouble, don't we? Protect the trace, Mike. If we lose it now. Don't worry. They're not getting anywhere near it. I got plenty of bullets. soldiers of the Alamo felt.
you do? Erasing my tracks and the weapons. Sorry, long day. I imagine. They're airing reports on a shootout at the ruins. And while they're not admitting anything, the word is that it was a terrorist cell. There weren't any reports of you being taken into custody, though, so I wasn't sure what had happened. They spotted me at the ruins, so I had to think quickly. I got the intel I needed, but it made getting out a lot harder. Are you hurt? No. Just need to get my second wind. I have to get to the warehouse soon before the leads grow cold and Marburg moves the evidence out. I'm still running on adrenaline anyway. I noticed you had medical supplies in the cabinet. If you want, I could... I don't need medical attention. I'm fine. Do you ever slow down? You've been running yourself ragged ever since I've met you. If you're always like this... I have to be. These people I'm after, they're on a timetable I'm still trying to catch up with. You'll catch them, Mike. I know it. I think you're about the best break I've had in catching them since I arrived in Rome. Thanks. You should get some sleep, Madison. reports on a shootout at the ruins, and while they're not admitting anything, the word is that it was a terrorist cell. I've told you everything. Everything? No. I think we will need more than that. But I don't know what happened in Moscow. There was someone there. A man. Something he... Enough about this Thornton already. He's dead. Dead in Saudi Arabia. What about the shipments? I thought you made sure we weren't being... Russians. What the hell are they doing here? ship somewhere.
these channels are lighting up. Are you still at the warehouse? I interrupted the lethal question and answer session. Getting some additional data now. Well, the authorities are on their way. So whatever you need to do, you do it quickly. They'll be here in a few minutes. Almost done, but I want to know who they were torturing. Let me ID them and then I'm out of here. All right, but hurry. Mike, you've got less than a minute. Got an ID and some papers he had on him. Good. Now get out of there. Mike, get out of there. They're almost outside the warehouse. They're pulling up now. your exploits at the warehouse on the news. Another shootout like at the ruins? I accomplished the mission. That's all you need to know. That covers the warehouse and the Pompeii ruins. With those two leads, is there any clue as to what Marburg is up to? We don't have anything else to go on. I found some clues at the warehouse, but I'm not sure how useful it'll be. The informant they captured died before I could speak to him. There's got to be some connection. We just have to take a step back, see what the connection is. Marburg was able to get the munitions into the country through Al Samad, but the warehouse was the destination of the bombs. He wasn't planning to destroy the warehouse, though, right? Was he planning to store the bombs there, use them later in Rome? Well, that doesn't make much sense. The warehouse was on the outskirts of Rome. There's plenty of other storage areas he could have used. So there was something special about that warehouse. Its inventory. It's mostly art and museum pieces, right? Maybe Marburg despises art. Although after seeing his villa, I doubt it. I do too. He actually hired me because I'd done part-time work at a museum in Rome. Marburg hired you because you used to work at a museum? Yeah, the Museum of Art in Rome. I think they have an exhibit on the Crusades showcase there now. What's wrong? Some of the pieces in that warehouse. I'm certain they were from that museum. He's going to bomb the museum, but why? I have no idea, but that's his target. I need to get there before he does.
in the museum. Mike, I just picked something up on the cameras. It's Marburg's men. They have Madison. Damn it. Is there anyone in the museum? It's normal hours. A few tour groups, security guards. It's a light day for tourists. But that's still a lot... A lot of people if the bomb goes off. I won't let it happen.
Mike, you need to hurry. Why? What's going on? It sounds like Marburg's men are attacking the security guards. Security's outnumbered. They'll be slaughtered. Agent Thornton, you made it. Good. That makes things... interesting. We have Madison. She's being held in the west wing of the museum. My men have orders to execute her. That where your bombs are too? No, the bombs are with me. At the Crusades exhibit. You won't have time to reach both. Either way, someone dies. You're right about that, Marburg. Why don't you stay put? I'll be right there. Left or right, Thornton? Your choice. Madison? Or coming after me and the bombs? There's not time for both. Mike, Madison. She's in the wing to your left, but the bombs are in the wing to the right. Which way should I go? I don't know, Mike. You'll have to make the call. But I don't think Marburg is bluffing. Mike, they've sealed off the entrance to the other wing. Guess there's only one way to go now. Mike, I'm picking up some interference on the channel. And judging from the frequencies, there's some proximity mines near your location. I'll keep an eye out. interference on the channel and judging from the frequencies there's some proximity lines near your location i'll keep an eye out
It's over. Let her go. Do as he says. Deus Volt. You brought it on her. You pulled the trigger. Don't blame me. You made your choice. Don't give me that third-party bullshit, Marburg. I'm gonna kill you quickly, which is more than a coward who shoots women in the back deserves. I may give you that chance, Thornton, if only to further your education. I'm impressed. You stayed focused, carried out your mission, disarmed the bombs, and left her for last. I didn't think you had it in you. Are you done? Because you're gonna answer for what you did to Madison. Enough of this. There, you keep on struggling. self-appointed hero. You are disposable and obsolete. It beats being dead, but you'll know all about that in a minute. I think you'll see Miss St. James before I do, Thornton. Keep talking. It lets me know where to shoot. Enough of this. Damn it, he's getting away. There's nothing you can do now, Mike. Get out of there. There'll be another time. So you chose Rome. I underestimated you. Marburg did not. He said you were a pragmatist, that you would carry out your mission. Nothing to be done about it now. Marburg killed her. I hope you don't blame me for her death. Marburg wanted you to save her. Not out of any emotional tie, mind you. For him, it was business. Tragedy in the wake of the Florida terror attack on the ruins of Karsule. A shame. A second attack but you can't the save everyone, Mark. Michael. Of an of oh, the I had been in your shoes. James oh, I don't know what I would have done. You wouldn't have done anything. That's why you sent Marburg in in the first place. <laughs> Executive Bro has the privileges. You don't make any real choices, Layla. Not really. What have you hoped to gain from the bombing? It's over now. Really? That's because you have a very narrow view of events. Lectures on perspective from a blind man? That's the first. You planning on teaching about ethics next? I can't expect you to keep up with every news report. I have an entire division devoted to it. Plus my ace in the hole. The bombing was intended to reorganize terrorist legislation in the European Union. So what? How does that benefit you? The reorganization was to benefit Helbeck. Surveillance, airport screening tech, weapons. Mr. Marburg's little crusade in Rome was to remind Europe what fear is. So you killed Madison for profit? No, Mike. You did. You brought her into this mess. You had her take you to Marburg despite the risks, and then you failed to protect her. Blame me all you want, but step back and think about it. You must have thought about it. When it was all over, you were the big hero. Saved all of Rome. When things were quiet, no one shooting at you. No bombs. What did you think about them? Operator? Uh, hello? Poor L. 
else would. Of people you care about will start to die. This is it? After Rome and Moscow, I was expecting something a little more... upscale. Maybe you should unwind after the flight. Maybe take a shower. That might be more tempting if you were here. That might have to wait until we aren't fugitives from our own government. A man can dream, though. A man can dream. tell you this this is why I love you you can send roses to my dead drop in Prague now that you've made it to Taipei what are your plans priority one is to find out more about this assassination attempt agreed how are you going to go about it I've got three leads to start with this Stephen Heck guy seems like he knows what's going on in Taipei he might be able to answer some questions be careful Mike I've checked my databanks, and I can't find any evidence that Stephen Heck has ever worked for the CIA. I'll be on my guard. There's also that anomalous data trail from Shahid's system. Any luck tracing it down? I managed to follow it back to a place in the warehouse district. I'm forwarding the address to you now. What's the final lead? Simple. Follow the money. Shahid was funneling large amounts of money to a front corporation for the White Oak Mountain Triad. I think I can persuade them to tell me why. Sounds like you've got everything figured out. Isn't that why you love me? You watch yourself out there, Mr. Thornton. Always. See the Red Lion. I'm a friend of the Sheik. I'm sure. My name is Michael Thornton. I think you have information I need. I know many things. Most of them will be useful to someone, I'm sure. What is it you want from me, Mr. Thornton? I have no interest in bantering with an American cowboy. It upsets my digestion. Please, get to the point. Someone is planning to assassinate Ronald's son. You've been receiving transfers of funds from Shahid. I'd be willing to pay to see if these two facts are connected. Hmm, interesting. I admire a man who presents a business proposal clearly and succinctly. Mr. Thornton, a 
man in my position does not get to be a man in my position without knowing the value of a good trade. I can understand that. I suppose the question is what you need. Uh, some of my lieutenants seem to think they would do better without my loving guidance and gentle hand. They have set up shop in a disreputable part of town. Now, if you were to discourage them, I will tell you what I know. You don't even know me. Why trust me with something like this? Why not use your own people? My own people are known to these roads. You, on the other hand, look enough like an ignorant Guaylo tourist that they might only mug you. Well, when you put it that way, it's hard to argue. All right, Mr. Hong. <laughs> I knew you would see the wisdom of this deal, Mr. Thornton. Uh, contact me again when my wayward children have been dealt with, huh? Oh, and Mr. Thornton. Yeah? Don't call me Mr. Hong. Okay, I'm not far from the market. I'm I'm picking up some activity near your position. I don't think Hong sure gave us the whole story. The head of an organized crime syndicate not telling the truth? Gee, that's a stretch. Stretch or not, it looks like you're going to see some heavier resistance up ahead. Interesting. What is? I just found a ten-page list of Triad members. How does that help us? I think it may be a list of all the defectors. You said ten pages? How many defectors are there? A hell of a lot more than Hong sure told us about. You better watch yourself, Mike. There's no telling what else you forgot to tell us about. My thoughts exactly.
Shut up. I heard some. Friendly neighborhood triads have been dealing with Al Samad. You're kidding. Why would they be working together? Any details of the arrangement? Nope, just some ledgers detailing various transactions. This can't be good. Wait, there's a note attached to one of the ledgers. Apparently, these defectors weren't happy with the arrangement, but money had nothing to do with it. All right, Mike, keep looking. There has to be more to this. happening to Yi Huang. Hey.
there in less than a minute. You better find a good defensive position. Good thinking. It looks like they'll be coming in from the loading dock, directly opposite the door you entered from. Looks like they already had a turret covering that entrance. That might be just the thing to welcome them. Mr. Thornton, you return. The television is already humming with talk of your assault on the slums. Far be it from me to tell you how to run your business, but I work better when I know the whole story. Like the real reason your lieutenant's defected? I see. I had hoped to keep that information quiet. I trust I can rely on your discretion, Mr. Thornton. That depends on why they thought the deal with Shahid was a bad idea. Shahid was sending you large sums of money. What was it for? A man in my position has access to a certain materials, Mr. Thornton. Materials that a man in Shahid's position finds very valuable. We had a long-standing business arrangement. You've already got the international smuggling contacts. You could secure shipments to just about anywhere an Al-Samad cell operates. Very astute, Mr. Thornton. You would do very well in this business. I did not sell weapons to Shahid directly. I was merely a facilitator. And how does that put you in a position to know about an attempt on Sun's life? I'm willing to provide my information, not my sources. Fair enough. Let's see it. As promised, Mr. Thornton. Here is all the information I have regarding this unfortunate business with Mr. Sun. A pleasure doing business with you. And with you, Mr. Thornton. Oh, there is one other thing. Beware of the man called Omen Dang. Omen Dang? Who's he? I'm afraid no one really knows. He is a powerful man in Taipei. And I have heard his name mentioned along with the rumors of this assassination. I'll keep my ears open. Thanks. Sending you the data I got from Hong Shu now. Receiving. Got it. Anything? According to this, the White Oak Mountain Triad was approached to provide security for a diplomatic exchange at a subway station on the Xingmei Line tomorrow night. Nobody hires Triad gangsters to provide security for a diplomatic exchange. Any hint what was really going on? Hong Shu's lieutenants dug into the guy's background. Turns out, he was an NSV deep cover operative. After some persuasion, he let slip that he was working undercover to foil a major political assassination. Persuasion? Do I want to know? You really don't. That gives us a time and a place. Think it's enough to go on? Xingmei Station is pretty big. You could wander around for an hour and not find the exchange. You'll need to identify the package being handed off. If you can find a way to track it, even better. Well, I'll see what I can dig up. I'll be in touch. Okay. Good luck, Mike.
fashion news design. I'm in. Mina. What's Mina, that? do you copy? <sighs> Great. Signal's jammed. Looks like I'm on my own. something a network hub that must be what's drawing all that power Checking things out. Check out something out. Damn. Signal's not getting through. Must be a jammer somewhere. I'll have to bypass it.
Now that, that is one hell of a jamming device. Now that, that is one hell of a jamming device. something else.
that. That is one hell of a jamming device. up with my PDA. Uh-oh. Albatross. It's been a while since Moscow. I didn't realize there was a G-22 cell here. That means we've done our job, Agent Thornton. The question is, what were you doing here in the first place? What's it to you, Albatross? I was just checking a lead, and the next thing I know, your glorified IT guys are crawling out of the woodwork. You've placed monitoring software on our servers. I want you to shut it down. I wasn't expecting to find G-22 here, but they sure didn't make me feel welcome when I arrived. Now you want me to do you a favor, right? Eavesdropping on our servers won't help you. I'm guessing you're looking for an al Samad and Halbeck connection. So, you're working with both. I should have known. We've been monitoring both al Samad and Halbeck, but are affiliated with neither. I'm afraid you'll have to take me at my word, Agent Thornton. I believe you. 
You've never struck me as a zealot or a capitalist. You are correct. And that data in our servers, well, let's just say it would be of little use to you. Disable your monitoring software, and I will compensate you. I know why you're here. I can help you. Refuse, and you'll find you have few friends here in Taipei. All right, I'll delete the program. And I could use the help. This operation is turning out to be larger than I expected. Thank you, Mike. And as for your mission, let us say that G-22 has no interest in seeing President Song placed in jeopardy. So, you have been eavesdropping on al Samad and Halbeck. Yes. Halbeck underestimated Shahid. The man was no fool. But even G-22 hasn't been able to determine how Halbeck intends to pull off the assassination. Or who the assassin is. I'd rather not wait until Sung is shot to find out. That help you mentioned. G-22 will be in contact, Mike. And thank you. There was a signal jammer blocking transmissions. Had to get rid of it. Did that have anything to do with the huge explosion our satellites picked up a little while ago? Well, you know what they say. You can't make an omelet without blowing up a few illegal cutting-edge jamming devices. Actually, I think you might be the first person to say that. Ever. You'll never guess who I just got a call from. Who? Our favorite seabird. One who has the tendency to hang around mute teenage girls. Albatross? I didn't know G-22 had a presence in Taipei. Yeah, it was a shock for me, too. I'm guessing he didn't call to chat. What did he want? I don't know. Something about a pizza delivery that never showed up. I think it was the wrong number. Mike? He found the bugs I planted. Wanted them shut down. I figured it was in my best interest not to piss him off. We should have what we need by now, anyways. Too bad. An inside look at G-22's intelligence networks would be helpful. So, what do we got? Not a lot. I downloaded what I could before you shut down the bugs, but we're offline now. I hope Albatross's goodwill is worth it. What did we get? It looks... Anything we can run with? I've got an email intercept indicating that the assassin will be receiving the details of the assignment tomorrow night at the subway station on the Xingmei line. That's not a lot of new information. It's something. Maybe if we can find a way to tap into the NSB's computers, we can narrow the search a little more. You could be right. I'll keep exploring my lead, see if something shakes loose. Anything else I might find useful? Sorry. I barely had time to pull this information before we lost access. We got the intel we needed, at least. I'll be in touch when I'm ready to move forward. Take care, Mike. How many gay cheetahs gave their lives for this jacket? <laughs> <laughs> 